parallel compression, okay? Let's explain that, it's real simple. You send a signal from your drums over to another set of channels, and you can have a stereo compressor there, okay? So that's what we do. Then for me, I have a pair of Neve compressors. If you have a plugin, it would be the 33609 plugin, if you wanna use that. You would set your threshold at zero, your recovery at 100 milliseconds, your gain is, doesn't matter. Your gain is just your gain structure. Your gain could be at zero. You know, I'll leave it at eight. And then your ratio, which is your compression ratio, two to one, that is your setting, okay? That's exactly what they're doing right up here. And not stereo length. Why not stereo length? Because I don't stereo link anything, okay? Period. You want stereo link? Enjoy yourself. If you have a big tom hit on the left, what's it gonna do? It's gonna duck the right. So then what does that do to your drum sound? So why do that? Well, Chris, the kick drum's gonna move around. Well, bloody da. Okay, I want it to be stereo, not mono. If you if you link it, it makes it sound more mono. So I don't link, all right? So we just do it nice and simple. And then we have it come up on a pair of channels. Like in Pro Tools, you'd have it go to an aux, come up on another fader, and you can season to taste how much you want there, okay? And then for me, I add a little bit of EQ to that. I add like 3 dB at 8K. 3 dB at 60, and that just kind of adds a little bit more point to those pairs. So you have your drums, and then you have another pair like these, and it brings it back. And for me, I have this, and I'll bring it back here. We'll play those drums. So no parallel. It's subtle, but inside the record, it's helpful. 